what is going on ladies and gentlemen welcome your faces back to another episode of exogen hope you're all having a fantastic day with that being said if you're new you're gonna click that subscribe button as we're trying to get to 500 subscribers with that being said let's get to today's episode Alrighty, so we last left off with uh doing a few things now i kind of left the game running afk for a little bit as i had to do a few things in real life and um yeah i came back to a dead player and um phantoms everywhere so that was that was uh that was fun but last time we got a few things done and uh today we're gonna get even more stuff done so today i want to work on getting some clay maybe some other some maybe some actual resources going and all that fun stuff now now we need to uh, i guess we can do a little bit of inventory sorting a little bit i mean just toss everything inside the the chest and and, and leave it there kind of basically um yeah i didn't get to do anything because again i had to do some real life stuff and yeah wait how did i get that i guess i got it from the tombstone grave or something i don't know i don't know how i got that i i don't know so clay we were looking at clay the last time and i don't think we actually okay yeah we we need to get water but how i guess the idea maybe is to get dust into that x naho barrel thing and then do it that way and then get your first set of clay and then yeah i think that's how they want us to do it right so like i that maybe maybe you gotta make glass bottles maybe that's what you have to do uh i don't really know how how am i supposed to transport water that would that would be the mo that would make the most sense right is to transport it using uh We'll get you some clay uh that's you know also too i was also thinking that's assuming that we have clay buckets as well in the pack or ceramics is the name of the mod that adds the clay buckets i believe that's assuming that we have that right and it does uh you know what yeah we do have an unfired clay bucket so it looks like we can get what we need but we need to figure out how to get clay first so i'm gonna try the bottle trick or maybe we just have to leave the 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 barrel outside and let it rain on it or something that might be the the trick nope it looks like water bottles is the um the trick water bottles will do the trick mm, nice and then we're gonna go ahead and break this down into that and then that will get us our first ever water bucket or our first bucket so that way we can transport water and get uh infinite water as well and they gave us clay as well oh that's super good um okay cool 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 so we're almost done with this first kind of page here the undergarden the undergarden is quite the place you might find yourself either in fear or in awe in order to open the portal make a frame out of stone bricks then click it with a catalyst okay the catalyst from the undergarden Let's check that out. I mean, I know we're pretty pretty far away from that. So it looks like we need iron plates and gold plates with a diamond gear. And the only way to get diamond gears is through that stuff. So we're not able to do that just yet, right? Yeah, we're definitely not able to do that just yet. That's definitely something that we're going to have to kind of wait for. For sure. Um, Getting to end and stuff let's see lost cities dimension so this is kind of like the the dimension era here it looks like and then this is how we, assuming we're gonna get lava as well that way now i'm actually generally curious what do we have for cobblestone generator we probably we probably don't have the cobblestone mod so we're gonna have to find some way of generating cobblestone and that's probably through like the typical old way which is the um we can do it with create right there's there's got to be a way to do it with create yeah like with a typical cobblestone generator maybe we do have a cobblestone generator but that's very far away from us we need 
quite a bit of stuff to get that going. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. So let's also, let me grab some leaves and let's get to our, our, ourselves some water. Make sure that we have infinite water, all that stuff. And then I guess we get a, I guess this is all done through here. Netherite. Get some netherite by sifting for it or washing some netherrack. Wait, really? Netherrack? Netherite? You can get, hmm. Netherite scrap. Okay, you can get it from pure, pure ancient debris, which comes from ancient debris. Okay. How does one get their hands on some netherite scrap though? It, you can smelt it from this stuff, or you can wash crushed netherrack to get a 1% chance to get yourself a piece of netherite scrap. Is that less than 1%? And how do you get crushed netherrack? Through the crushing wheel? And then how do you get netherrack? You can get it from... You can dupe it with mana. Oh, the pedestals mod. You know what? That reminds me. I heard the pedestal mod is really OP. I heard. You can do some really OP stuff with the pedestal mod. Hmm. So that makes me wonder. Oh my God. I wonder how much. Oh, wow. This, this, yeah, this takes a while. Okay. So let me look at the quest book again. So w what's our direction, you know? That's what I want to know. Like, what is our direction? I would assume they want us to stone besides being useful in, in itself. Stone can be hammered into little pebbles that can get you alternate versions of stone. Okay, so they want me to make stone. We can do that real quick. That's not that hard. Here, let's get like eight pieces of stone. We can go ahead and cook that up. And yeah, so this is an expert mode pack. Uh, and stone, we're not, we're not really there yet. So I guess our goal should be probably to look at lava. Oh, there is cobblestone generators, look. Because that's a cobblestone generator right there. Yeah, there's, there's cobblestone gen tier one. Okay, so it's not called cobblestone generator. It's just called cobble gen tier. And then th this is what we got here. One, two, three, four, and five. And I'm guessing tier five can't be made. Okay, it can be made. But it also looks like you can use smaller or the cheaper stuff. So maybe we do want two pieces of dust, but we're, we're going to get that in a second anyway. So I'm going to let that cook up and we shall be back. All right, guys, now that we got ourselves some water... Uh, we're going to go ahead. Well, actually, hold on before we do that. Let's take a look and see what we're going to actually need. Now, one thing I don't really like about this quest book, I feel like everything is just like, I don't know. Everything's like, um, it's its own solo quest, right? Like get lead, get nickel. Like, I think it should all just be a part of one quest. Like get like one Get, you know, like sift, uh, gravel, sand, and dust to get these resources instead of having them all be separate, but that's fine. Um, now we're going to have to build a little bit of a mob farm because I th actually maybe not because I think we can get bone meal without, uh, having to build a mob farm if I'm correct. Yeah, we can. Oh, we have heavy sieves. That is a thing. So we can totally do that. We should maybe try that. And that comes from compressed dust. I mean, that compressed dust isn't really that hard to get. I don't think. Let's see. Let's see what the heavy sieve is like and see if we're able to, to kind of make the heavy sieve, um, 
right now. We should be able to. It's just a little bit of string with some wood. Okay, so that's that's actually pretty good for us. So let's go ahead and do that. I want to see something as well. I want to run a quick test. Can I take the compressed gravel and hammer it down? Or not like the compressed gravel, sorry, the compressed stone and hammer it down and get resources out of it? No. That's unfortunately not how it works in this. Okay. So we kind of have to. Um. Dang. That's really unfortunate. That would have been really cool, actually, if it worked that way. But it doesn't work that way, unfortunately. Which really does stink. Because I was really hoping that would be the case. But it's not the case, unfortunately. Dang, what a bummer. What a bummer. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna see how much bone meal we can get because I'm pretty sure to get lava going, it's just really, it's really simple, I think. All right, guys. So I'm, I'm, I'm generally curious. I'm like, what is the off chance I'm gonna able to be pull, pull this off? I don't think we're gonna be able to, but we're gonna try anyway. So we're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of setting. I mean, it, it might be easier to just set up a mob farm. Oh, we got two bone meal there. Oh, it, it's very doable. So I guess let's just take 32 of these and just make a bunch more of that bone meal stuff. I mean, that uh, dust and sift it up. And I think we should be good to go. I love how I'm doing this in my, in my house. Like, mm hmm. Yeah, this is totally the best place to do this right now. Also, our hammer is almost about to break. Uh, it is now broken. So we no longer have a hammer. We can go ahead and get rid of that, I guess. And I wonder, can I make a stone one now? I guess we can upgrade our, our old broken one to a, a better one. A very much better one. Um, I do got to be careful when I'm placing this over here now because uh we don't want to accidentally sieve our uh materials if you sort of speak right by the way i also got a cake in between episodes from like some like opening up something i can't remember what i i did i i opened up something and it gave me a cake all right let's see let's see how much this of this we can make we can make a few uh i don't know i think we need like seven ish um oh we didn't get one there god damn it okay so we uh crucible is probably the way to the, the thing that we need unfired crucible which needs this oh it's nether quartz huh that that's not right right that can't be right i was gonna say i was like there's no way that's that's not right interesting interesting how that now shows oh wait there's two different kinds so you gotta be careful and make sure that you select the right one so to speak i was like wait that doesn't make sense that 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 doesn't make sense at all that should be clay i i thought that's i thought that was clay right but uh i guess ceramics has a different version of that as well so you gotta be you gotta be wary of that as well all right cool 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 we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna make all the all the boys come to the yard all right i don't know how much that is that's 19. That's going to be enough for two more. All we need is like two more anyway. So if we can just get two here or, or, or one and one that works too. Oh, perfect. Beautiful. And then we'll also break this down, get that and then do that. And that should be enough to make what we need to make. Bada bing, bada boom, unfired crucible. Let's go. That's hype. That is very much hype. That should be also a quest complete, right? It is. I won't mind taking that. I won't mind taking that. And I won't mind taking any of this 
extra stuff as well because this is all very good stuff that we could be using coarse dirt now coarse dirt is interesting right because you can like form it basically if that makes sense uh you can turn uh normal dirt into cursed dirt, coarse dirt with um uh gravel and then till it and then jump on it and then it'll turn back into normal dirt then you can form that infinitely all right let's see what they want us to do with this crucible i'm gonna guess i'm gonna have a little guess here and say that we're gonna need to make one of these torches and then turn that into fire or make lava to make a cobblestone generator yeah I'm, I'm i'm just guessing at this point right um i'm new to modded 116 so i'm just taking a a little bit of a gander here and yeah that's making three mill buckets that's only doing one mill bucket per tick oof 900 ticks that's how many seconds oh god 1200 is one minute i know that much unfortunately so i am maybe a thousand is like a few seconds it's like uh 900 ticks divided by 20 is about 45 seconds which is not terrible to get one bucket of lava now did we actually make the second bucket or have we not got to that yet i don't think we've gotten to that yet so we should probably make a second bucket here just so we can um have a second bucket so we can make the cobblestone generator we should actually prepare for that as well while we're waiting um it, it's completely different it's completely new i like this i'm actually really 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 liking this um uh we just need a little bit of glass and i'm assuming that's wood that looks like wood um which is a little bit weird but it makes sense it's a tier one upgrade instead of like um you know i i could have just realized i could have just use the sand that's in my inventory already instead of making more instead of struggling more i could have just did that i think we're pretty much ready for that so what i, what I want to do is i'm going to wait for this to be done and we'll be right back all righty guys so we go on ahead and got ourselves some basic lava generated here let's go ahead and grab it in our buckets we're gonna go ahead and grab it with that and then we also want it to be we also want water and then our first cobble gen hold on we can actually well we can upgrade oh well we kind of can upgrade well we really can i guess now my question is do you automatically output to the top now do we have storage drawers we do very much have storage drawers we should get some of those uh let me quickly just cut that in half okay there's a little lag there don't know why but there was lag i guess i shouldn't always blame it on the lag huh and i think if my memory if this is correct okay so you do output to the top okay cool now you're very slow but you are generating cobblestone which is very very nice of it uh let's go here wow we've already 32 percent complete already i like that we're already 32 percent complete with this first quest uh we can go ahead and claim this stuff and this stuff beautiful i love that sound it makes me feel jittery it makes me feel good so we need iron now to get iron I'm pretty sure the only way to get iron is through upgrading to flint, which requires six pieces of flint. Now there isn't actually there is kind of a way, but we need grass fiber, which needs grass. I don't think we can do that. Just I mean maybe we can, maybe we can't. But I mean I'm I'm more than happy to just sit here and break gravel over and over and over again until I get 
what I want, which is basically the the beautiful Flinterunals. Now that's only for one, right? You need like 54 gravel or some or 54 flint or something like that to get what we want, which is um all of our sieves eventually. But for now, this will do. I'm surprised that they removed that recipe from the pack altogether. Like that was mm, I mean it's okay. It's not there's nothing wrong with removing it. It's just like I don't know, it's like one of those weird things, you know what I mean? We can go ahead and take this out and upgrade our mesh to get what we want. Which is the Flint Boy. And this is gonna allow us to get resources, I think. Right? Uh so if I look at compressed compressed gravel, for example uh just the x compressor version it looks like in the flint mash we only get coal and iron and iron is only a five percent chance so what is what does normal gravel give you out of curiosity gives you out of the the thingy where is the sifting normal gravel gravel only gives you I mean, it gives you the same results, right? You have to upgrade to iron to get to the next tier. Okay, that makes a lot of sense now. And it's actually honestly not that hard to get gravel, right? Gravel is actually a fairly simple uh, m resource to get. Um, all it is is really hammering cobblestone, right? I don't know why I'm doing this inside the house, but it's fine. And just like that, we just got a ton of gravel. And then we can take this cobblestone now and we can break it down into more gravel. And then take this gravel, compress it up, and then get more materials out of it, I guess. So to speak, right? We can sit here and do the good old Rooney sifter and, and see what we can get our little dirty hands on. Maybe some maybe some coal. Maybe a few iron chunks. That would be nice. I think that's also a quest complete. Oh, look at that. We just got three iron pieces. So that's our first piece of iron, actually, which is super nice. I think we're getting coal right now. Either that or we're getting flint. Um, I couldn't really tell what we got from that because I wasn't really paying attention. But we got our first piece of iron. So that's nice. And I think... You just do the, the same old default recipe change. Yeah, look at that. We got even more iron, so I will take that. And then, honestly, I'm not sure if I want to... If I want to put... If I want to save that for making a bucket of lava. I mean, that would be really nice, actually, um, for upgrading upgrading stuff so i think we should do that we should totally put that into our our upgrades or whatever right how do we get gold gold is what level gold or pieces is what we're looking for how do we get the gold because i would really like some gold crushed another rack it seems like so um and a site and our granite and an emerald mesh that's actually interesting so that's something that's not in one oh you can get it from a netherite so netherite gives you a well netherite actually gives you all of them right Ooh, like an emerald one so there's actually more than just a diamond mesh now which is super crazy actually you know i'm actually generally curious now now that i'm thinking about this i wonder if you can do custom stuff inside the sieve i don't think you can because here's the thing um it only allows certain things to be put inside these sieves that would be really awesome if you can find a way to you know make it so you can make your own custom meshes that would be really sick if we can have that as a feature someday for uh mod pack creation like have our own like x now ho mod that allows us to make custom meshes that way we can you know do even more like more tiers to get different resources and stuff one of my favorite uh mods right now 
or resource gen mods is the scavenge mod because scavenge allows you to do so much stuff with it versus some of these like x nilho um resource hogs or trees resource trees whatever resource bees or whatever um you're only limited to like that specific whatever that mod creator has added and whatever features with scavenge you know you have all the power like you can do so much with scavenge it's actually insane what you can do with scavenge and it's very 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 impressive um for a mod at least in my opinion uh let's see what else did we get we also got i don't think we got anything else in this quest uh which water we're gonna have to wait for we did that we did that i would really like to make a lava bucket or an iron bucket because then that means we can also upgrade to tier two. Oh, we can't just make a bucket okay so how do we make a bucket i i just assume that we can make a bucket we need iron plates and there's only one way to make iron plates and that's through okay we either a need steel so how does one make steel in in eternal stella indestructible oh is that like uh that's a thing yeah that's a that's this thing allows it allows you to make anything unbreakable any item in the game unbreakable which is super uh op like you can have like a crazy item that has like one durability left and you can make it unbreakable and boom you have it forever which is um litharite interesting you know some of this you know we didn't actually take a look last episode we didn't you know take a look at any of the other quests or anything because i kind of forgot but you know as you can see we have mods like industrial foregoing we have new minecraft uh compact machines uh mechanism uh immersive engineering create is a big one it looks like uh magic progression yes we have magic in this pack so we have like botania um pedestals i would assume that's relic this is all reliquary uh don't know what mod this is from elemental craft seems to be the mod uh ars nouveau uh gold leaves i think is from nature's aura uh astro sorcery and blood magic blood magic is like super end game if i remember correctly like it's ridiculous dark uh blood altar blood altar is insanely crazy like an insanely crazy uh recipe it looks like um so we have that mod and then we have a bunch of like storage mods uh looks like we have our tools iron chest quantum storage and applied energistics not sure if we ever find storage uh haven't bothered to look and then we have the creative age which is making all the creative items like the creative creative emmy storage shell and the creative compressor creative tank creative vending upgrade all the uh all the typical creative items that you would normally find in an expert mode pack like this to be uh craftable right but yeah, honestly, I'm really enjoying this pack. It's 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 about time that I've actually played a 116 mod pack. It's been a while. Um, I haven't read the only 116 mod pack that I've really tried out so far is Direwolf 20. Again, this is a whole new experience for me, something brand new, and and I'm liking it. I, I feel really good. But with that being said, guys, unfortunately, it is time to wrap up today's episode. So with that being said, if you guys did enjoy today's episode, please do me a huge favor and smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, ding down that notification bell. Again, we're trying to get to 500 subscribers. That would really mean a lot to me if we can hit that goal. Um, let's hit that goal. Let's hit that achievement. Let's hit that milestone. That'd be amazing. As always, guys, uh, new videos every day from 9 a.m. Uh, new videos every day at 11 a.m. Uh, follow me on Twitch. I'm live there every single Monday through Friday. You know the drill. Uh, with that being said, I'm going to love you. I'm going to leave you. Till next time.